One more quick example of putting together data for an empirical project in Introduction to Econometrics. State health facts, fantastic source of uh, data. COVID-19, demographics and the economy. Let's go to custom state uh, report. Where will it take us? We can select different indicators. COVID-19, why not? Uh, but let's do COVID met metrics uh, and uh, Cumulative COVID cases and deaths. Sure, let's do that one. Um, COVID vaccine, uh, vaccines delivered, administered. Yes, let's go with that. Um, health status, sure, we could do that. Uh, how about let's go something from demographics, income and poverty, household income, why not? State politics, yes, let's do that. Economic measures. Oh, well, unemployment, sure, let's go uh, the unemployment rate. Not sure if we'll use it. We've got five indicators. Let's uh, select states, uh, select all states, taking out uh, the whole country, but just have 50 states. That will be 50 observations. That's a good start. Generate a report. And what uh, have we got? Uh, all right, this is pretty good. Uh, we've got vaccines delivered. We have uh, COVID cases. Let's actually just keep COVID cases per million uh, population. And the same thing for deaths. Let's keep the death fatality rate. Wow, death fatality rate. Why does it vary? Why is it so much higher in Alabama than Alaska? What could explain this? Oh, maybe it's uh, explained uh, by the percentage of people who are vaccinated. Um, so uh, we can... Uh, of some of these uh, metrics because we want only the percentages. Um, uh, maybe why do uh, uh, rich states have uh, lower fatality rates uh, than uh, poor states, uh, Republican states? Uh, this we can definitely do. So uh, that looks like a pretty good start. Let's uh, download the data, raw data. Let's open it up. That looks pretty messy, but I think we can deal with it. Um, one problem is that uh, the data is horizontal. Um, so we will need to, let's delete uh, all these uh, nodes, delete, um, uh, let's delete this title row. Sure, let's delete this title row, delete. Let's actually just keep uh, the governor uh, party, delete, uh, delete this, sure, delete uh, this. Um, there's a number here, sure, there is. Total COVID uh, vaccines delivered. Yeah, we don't care about that. We care about sort of the percentage of population that gets uh, vaccinated. Um, delete uh, this row and we can delete uh, this row as well. And uh, now let's just transpose the data. Uh, so turn uh, rows into columns and uh, vice versa. How can we do that in Excel? We can just uh, highlight uh, the whole uh, spreadsheet. I'll say copy and then uh, underneath uh, we can uh, right click paste special and uh, as we paste special transpose okay perfect uh, let's delete uh, all of this delete okay and uh, we've got pretty good data uh, look at that we've got the uh, uh, COVID uh, fatality rate, share population that's vaccinated, uh, income, uh, governor, uh, party. Uh, so we could definitely turn this uh, into a dummy variable, uh, zero, one percent of unemployed. This is uh, good to go at 50 observations. That's a really bare minimum, but perhaps we could get this for different years or different months. Um, good start.